we as a nation don't have a workforce ready and able to support all the future cyber needs. Cyber Discovery is really focused on training teachers and students to become better cyber citizens, to help them uh, know how to help rather than hinder in security efforts dealing with using technology. The structure of the camp is two workshops, teacher workshops, before the camp ever starts. And so we get 20 teachers from all the various teams together so that they're learning the material and exploring the material together. So we build a bond between the teachers and then we create mentoring relationships with the Louisiana Tech faculty. That's key to the success of the camp and to the future programs. And then we bring the students in from 10 high schools at this camp from all over the region. So the week of the camp, it really is all about the students from the teacher's point of view. But just as the robotics and the hands-on activities of students is a hook for the students, the students are the hook for the teachers. The teachers solidify their understanding of everything we're trying to get at because they're doing it with their students. Cyber Discovery is really an immersive week-long camp. And what we do is we put forth information to the students. Everything from robotics to liberal arts to political questions. And those may seem disconnected, but cyber really brings them all together. One of the wonderful things about cyber is that it cuts across all disciplines and affects all facets of our lives. So it involves networking, it involves photography, um, it involves robotics, it involves history, it involves ethics. And so being able to see in a week how all those different disciplines can contribute to an enhanced understanding of cyber camp is really incredible to see. All the different aspects of camp really flowed together well. It was a nice change of pace to go from a liberal arts to you know, one side of your brain to the other side of your brain with technology and the Bobot platform. We target rising sophomores. Basically, we want students who are going into their academic careers. We want them to be able to think globally about all the classes they're taking and to understand how all the different disciplines fit together into a larger picture. For a lot of students, there probably is something that flips that switch to say, hey, I'm kind of interested in this political thing, or I'm kind of interested in this engineering and science thing, and uh, it gives them a, a foundation to build on. Uh, it just is a little motivator. And they come back with a, uh, with a great uh, new understanding of how everything fits together, and that's, that's just a real-world experience for them. It just was really great to see all the different things come together and the kids to blossom in a certain area, whether it be you know, computer science or whether it be theater with the presentation you know, of our Bobot activities. It was just really great to see the kids come together and realize their own strengths and feed off each other and give them a nice sense of where they can go in the future. I think that students are somewhat asked to think outside of their typical mold. They're, they're asked to think about questions, maybe they really enjoy math, and they're asked to think about a political question. And now they begin to see how that goes together. And that may stem something in those students to really begin to look at not just STEM majors, but looking at going and being a lawyer or looking at going in and, and being something that they can make a difference as a politician. The pace of a typical day starts with something hands-on, really using our robotics platform. And once you've engaged the students in something hands-on where they can program something and make something move and meet a challenge, you've got them and we carry that through the entire week. But immediately following that, we do a liberal arts component. And now they start discussing the environment that they live in, and actually think about what they've done. And then we transition that into a cryptography session, which has a high-end uh, treasure hunt related to the National Treasure movie. The schedule of the camp really crammed like your whole entire freshman year into five days and made the kids force them to use time management and gave them a great experience of what it's like to be under so much pressure and have you know a little bit of time to get a lot of things done. They don't come back and say, oh that was such a difficult schedule. Oh we we had to do so much work. They talk about, oh we had so much fun and we learned so many things. And so as we progress throughout the week, things build and they culminate into the final competition at the end that really depends upon the things that we did from day one. The faculty at Louisiana Tech that we pulled into this project are really the best faculty that we have that work in an interdisciplinary environment. We have engineering faculty from mechanical, engineering education, multi multidisciplinary design, computer science, mathematics, 
history, political science, architecture, speech, all of these faculty working together that allow the integration of topics in a way that really to listen to the teachers, they've never had this before. They've never seen how these disciplines have been so connected. Another thing that's unique about CyberCamp, um, in addition to the different disciplines that are involved and the um, unique challenges that we put before the students, is the array of, um, of opportunities they have to use uh, state-of-the-art equipment. The opportunity to be on a college campus with all of those facilities. And students come back at the start of their 10th grade year thinking about going to college. The Cyber Discovery Camp incorporates all the aspects of Louisiana Tech's campus. And Tech's campus is safe, it's friendly, it's open. It gives 10th graders or 9th and 10th graders an experience of college life in the dorms. It shows them what the opportunities are out there. And then we get to let them interact with the teachers and the faculty across the campus. And so they really get a sense of what's out there for them. Some of these students have never been outside their hometown, so this is a way to see what's out there and give them a sense of what the future can hold for them. Cyber Discovery Camp has definitely hooked me. I want to come back. I'm altering my schedule next summer to make sure that I have this week open because I want more kids to experience what Cyber Discovery has to offer. I think that it's perfect for a freshman going to be a sophomore. Just really gets them hooked into what the college life will be like and what engineering has to offer for all students. We've seen tremendous growth in that very first group that went to Cyber Camp. Their influence on other students since they've been they have had that experience has been tremendous. They have been the backbone of our robotics program and our robotics club. They have continued to compete in local competitions. Those very same boys went off to uh, the ION Robotics competition in Dayton, Ohio and placed second in the nation. And we can, we can trace that all the way back to that very first experience at Louisiana Tech in uh, CyberCamp. What's really phenomenal about this campus is how it engages students and then maybe even more importantly how it engages teachers. We can educate one student and they go on to the program and graduate and we start over. But the way this camp engages teachers is we create a generational change, a systemic change in the classroom and then we can affect generation after generation after generation. Cyber Discovery takes the best of professional development and the best of teaching real students, not make-believe, and puts the two together. And at the end, you impact more people um, for less money. Louisiana Tech has been a phenomenal partner from the get-go. When we stood up, they were here so supporting us. And we've created a dynamic partnership, as you can see, with the Cyber Discovery Camp. But more importantly, we've, we're working with Tech to develop a cyber academy, to develop new high school curricula, to work into the middle schools. Tech has been a great partner. We look forward to years of partnership and what's even really maybe even more exciting is Tech's opened this to partner with our other universities across the state, across Texas, across Mississippi. Um, we as a nation don't have a workforce ready and able to support all the future cyber needs so we need to come together uh, all of our communities to, to solve this problem and Tech is leading the way in their attitude and approach to to solving the workforce issues for the future. We're looking for a model that others can use to be able to really you know, push what we're doing. And we're not just doing a summer camp where things are kind of a flash in the pan. We really want it to be a, a camp that is memorable and sticks with the students. One thing that made this camp so successful is the support we received from Senator Landrieu's office, uh, our federal and state su support, as well as the Department of Education. The funding that was made available made this happen. These, these camps are not inexpensive. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of energy and a lot of money to do that. So we greatly appreciate Senator Landrieu's help in securing funding uh, with the Department of Education to bring education to another level to really create systemic change in our community.